What's up tamers? Welcome back to the other decks. My name is Casual Adobo and today I'm very excited to be presenting to you a, a little bit of a breakdown of BT5, what to expect and, and what we're sort of uh, excited about. Uh, and I'm very excited because joining me on this video is my good friend Pepper. Pepper, how you doing? It's not bad about you. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. So, um, Pepper and I have been friends for, for a little bit now, um, and our friendship mostly grew out of yelling at each other about Digimon cards. Um, me telling him that uh, the decks that he uses are too overpowered, even though they're probably not. Him yelling at me that the decks I make are just really janky. <laughs> Um, but it's, it's, it's a pleasure to have you on, Pepper. Um, so, before we get into it, I did sort of just want to ask you, you know, um, you know, how did you get into Digimon card game? Um, and, and what about it, um, has excited you the most so far? So, I was getting back into card games overall, and, uh, I jumped back in with Yu-Gi-Oh!, which I wasn't really feeling. I liked the game, but it just wasn't like really clicking with me but i knew that digimon was coming out uh pretty soon and uh i just bought into the game real quick i was there for like the 1.0 pre-release mm -hmm. and just kind of fell in love with the way the game plays like the style of it especially the art uh i didn't even actually know much about digimon uh, and the card game was like my entry into all of it. I never really watched the show as a kid or anything. Oh, so, wow. uh, I don't know. This has been my entry and I started watching the shows after and it's just been my favorite card game since then. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Cause, uh, I mean, I'm sort of like the opposite where I came into it, um, knowing about like the original, uh, few series of Digimon really being a fan of that. And then we, yeah, once this, uh, once I even heard about this card game, um, I was like, I was hooked immediately. And then, yeah, I, I, when he said the artwork, I was like, yes, that the artwork in this game is absolutely fantastic. I've been saying that since day one. Um, and, you know, I think BT4 had a lot of great looking art as well as some great looking cards. Um, wanted to see, you know, from the previous sets, not even just BT4, but like in the past. Um, what, have, what have you thought about the cards that have come out so far? I think it's been pretty good. Uh... I would say that BT4 started opening up uh, more play styles. I mean, looking at sort of like the more popular decks, there was definitely an opening for uh, things like, you know, a green yellow mega zoo mm -hmm. with the inclusion of Chaos Mod. And it was overall just nice to see like more colors get some level sevens. It seems like Red has gotten most of the love, mm -hmm. uh, having Omnimon and Omnimon Ultra Russ. As per usual, you know, um, we got a Digimon guy show its love for Omnimon. Oh yeah, I mean, this upcoming set is <laughs> all about Omnimon, and boy do we have quite a few, but we we know what Omnimon they really love the most. This this is true, and yeah, uh, the next set BT five for those of you who didn't know is called Battle of Omni, or should be Battle of Omega because there's an Omega sign um, in the background. Um, but besides Omnimon, there are a couple of different things in this set that I think excite both of us. Um, so you know, with that said, I think we should just hop into it. So Pepper, if you wanted to uh, take the lead on this, all right. So uh, I'll just start off by saying I am sort of in out of the meta but still trying to be competitive player so yeah you're you're yeah. more you're more in the meta than i am because uh, like if, if yeah. you've seen i mean i made the the one punch mon deck which we've uh, discussed at length oh yeah i'll discuss every one of your decks at length <laughs> <laughs> i should i should have, just have a video that's like pepper reviews <laughs> Adobo's decks. Pe pepper reacts too. <laughs> it's it's just a Serrano pepper just slowly wilting as as I go through discussing why I think you should put Dimension Scissor onto Blastmon. That that is how I feel sometimes because like I I like playing like weird decks like I am most excited about making a black purple deck in BT five, mm. which you could call you know not really that meta but still 
competitively viable. It's just not... It's either low on the tier list or maybe not really quite there. But boy, you make some decks that hey, I just... It's hard for me to like... I can't feel the vibes of them. <laughs> but anyways, besides that, uh, going into it, these are just my observations. Mm -hmm. uh, starting off with Red. Yeah. I think Shoutmon is a great card to look at right away. Uh, Shoutmon itself just looks for other cards with Shoutmon. And uh, it... It takes advantage of the new advanced keyword that's coming out in BT5 as well. Uh, probably my favorite thing about it too, just like looking at it at face value, is you can go from Shoutmon into Omni Shoutmon, completely skipping over level 4, which is amazing in my opinion. Going, just paying the 4 memory costs and going from Shoutmon into Omni Shoutmon, and then maybe going to Shoutmon DX right after that. I think that's like incredibly valuable. Yeah, that's uh, that's actually kind of insane. I didn't realize that uh, level five Omnimon could essentially digivolve off of the the level three, and so essentially it. You mean Omni Shoutmon, right? Oh yeah, Omni Shoutmon. Sorry, there's so many Shoutmons. <laughs> so there's so many Omnis. There's so many yeah. <laughs> with the name all in it. <laughs> all Shoutmon. Um, yeah, Om Omnipotent Shoutmon. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's incredible that you're able to sort of like essentially turbo into, into a Shaolmon. Yeah. And I think that's pretty, uh, important too, because, uh, when you go a little further into it, you're going to go from Omni Shaolmon to possibly Zeke Greymon, I think it's pronounced. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh. Close enough. <laughs> Don't wreck me for my pronunciations of this stuff. We hold you accountable. But, uh, Shaolmon is one of the few Digimon that can Shoutmon DX to be uh, precise is one of the few Digimon that can just evolve off of something in its same level also Shoutmon DX uh, is able to have uh, Zeech Greymon right under it uh, giving it a little extra boost there but it also when Digivolving has advanced mm -hmm. so I'm not dead sure on the tech here but i think it's amazing that z Greymon, when digivolving has advanced you don't have to worry about passing turn you're still going to get that attack in and then you can still go from that level six into another level six attacking again if you pass turn but you save yourself a little bit memory going from zeke into shaman dx so yeah i i, I absolutely think that's that's awesome that um you can you can digivolve off of a level six for only two memory um and then still trigger those abilities um and yeah it, i mean it shoutmon is what shoutmon dx specifically is one of those digimon that um yeah it does feel like it has uh, a lot of power to it um which is incredible um but also has a, a very quirky ability it really does uh i think it's secondary ability for uh getting more of the evolutionary line under it is I think it's pretty decent, but I think the uh, real value is that advanced keyword. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and and Pepper, this is why we brought you on here um, to talk about the real things that Digimon players want to talk about, and not you know my dumb brain trying to figure out how many uh, Shoutmon stacks can I create into one line. Um, I mean, trust me, the oh man, like the. You can go from uh, uh, Shoutmon DX into Omnimon into Omnimon X Antibody if you just want to really like build a very tall stack. See, uh, that this is this is a great start for anyone who wants to play Lincoln Logs with their <laughs> Digimon. <laughs> yeah, truly incredible. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I like how you went into the Omnimon and then like uh, the level seven with X Antibody. No, I mean, I was legitimately thinking about like just stacking like four Shoutmon on. On top of each other, and then putting Omni Shaman and Z Greymon just underneath of it to this create like a weird, like, <laughs> like centipede Shaman thing. Yeah, I mean, if you you do have the option to just keep this, this is the one time where if you like draw into like six of the same level six, like it it doesn't brick your hand. You're just gonna have to 
keep playing Shout Mon. Yeah. Like, is it is it strange that I want to make a Megazoo that's... It's just Red Megazoo, and it's just everything that triggers off of Shout Mon. <laughs> I think a Megazoo with Shout Mon DX is, like, it's probably perfectly viable. Mm. Mm. Did, did, did I just say something both dumb and potentially meta? Maybe. Oh, my God. We can evolve. Um... But Pepper, we'll agree on something one day. One day, one day. Um, but Pepper, what else about Red uh, excites you besides the Shout Mon line? So, one thing you definitely gotta look at. Uh, this is another Digimon which can evolve off of something of the same level. It is the Alterius Mode Metal Grey Mon. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. Close enough. <laughs> Where I think one of the best things about this is Metal Greymon isn't generally going to cost you three memory which on a general like on an average turn with a memory tamer that'll be all of it mm -hmm. uh, but in the rare you know I wouldn't say so rare case that uh, your opponent doesn't have a memory tamer on you can just digivolve for one into Alterius mode and possibly deleting one of your opponent's Digimon too if it has 4000 DP or less uh, the biggest thing, more than that though, is that this gives more support to Ancient Greymon, who I feel like didn't have a uh, strong enough start and effect going off. Uh, but I think this like really supports it. Looking all the way even to like Agamon, who will search for a Greymon, or Omnimon, uh, to the Greymon who can. Uh, get a little bit of memory back for evolving off of Algamon, evolve for one. Going all the way into Metal Greymon, Metal Greymon, Alterius mode, you can have three Digimon with Greymon under it into an Ancient Greymon for a very, very hard hit. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I agree that in BT4, uh, the Greymon support was not great. I mean, Ancient Greymon itself was very powerful if, if set up right. Um, and I think there were there were a couple hybrids like in that line um, that aren't Greymon, you know, particularly. Um, but it was it was more catered towards the hybrid side of things than the Greymon. Um, and I agree. I think this um, this definitely helps add a lot of support needed and, and potentially to overshadow the other ancient uh, Digimon that came uh, in BT4. Um, but I think we'll we'll save that discussion for for when we get to to Blue. Spoiler alert. Um, but also, I was just looking at this Greymon that you mentioned. The artwork is fantastic. <laughs> oh yeah, I love it. It's it's amazing. Yeah, like it's, it's so dynamic. It has just like this awesome lighting on it. Yeah, the lighting is great. The the, the sort of like uh like motion blur effects of like the ground stomping um that he's doing right here on the sand, like wonderful. Almost kind of looks like a painting. It, it's nice, and it's an uncommon. One of the more beautiful uncommons we've seen. <laughs> Oh yeah, I mean, it. I would say it's just an all-around good card. I have a buddy who really just wants to build a deck of just all Agumon and Greymon, and it's just incredibly possible now. Yeah, yeah, it's a uh, it's very viable. Um, but no, the, those are awesome cards. I think not much to add here. Um, I, I will say, you know, shout out to Chef Marimon. Um, and and I bring them up mostly because like I love I love the artwork. Um, I love the artwork here. Kind of gives me um, some uh, I was gonna say a spirited away vibes from the that opening scene of, of just oh, eating. Oh, no, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's very nice. Um, but, I oh. haven't really played many games. I think this might actually be a, uh, a reference from one of the Digimon games, but I'll really I'll look that up. If it is, I have to play that game now. I want to be a chef, Marimon. Um, but yeah, I, I bring up the artwork um, mostly because, yeah, I think my main thing that I'm really excited about for Red um, is the Shoutmon because it is quirky enough where I'm interested in it, um, but also meta enough that it can kind of like do work. Um, I will give one quick shout out though to Dobikmon or Dorbikmon. Um, mostly because. Um, one of the things that I'm trying to challenge myself on is to build um, the equivalent of a popper deck. For like, for those who don't know, in Magic, there's 
um, something called the uh, the popper format, which is just a deck made out of all commons. Um, and it can do that because magic's been around for a while. Um, so I'm not going to do exactly that. But Dobikmon or Dorbikmon, uh, however you pronounce it, is a common card um, with a fairly unique ability that we haven't seen um, in the game to date. I think it's a buck wild ability and not because it's too strong but because it's something that can reach dp levels like no other digimon can if you just throw aside another mega but it's also still a card that will die to something <laughs> coming out of security <laughs> yeah just like something real dumb like a gaia force like you get it's just the beefiest dude like going into security swings one and uh and gaia force <laughs> Oh, also, by the way, I found it. Uh, it's actually uh, Digimon World that Marimon will open up a restaurant. Ooh. So that's where you get the cooking Marimon. That's incredible. I love that. Um, but all right, so that, I think, covers it for red. Let's move on to um, the next favorite color amongst at least the Digimon series for sure. 